Mr. Chairman. Um, Council Chair Hawkins. Hi, fine. Thank you. Busy, uh, busy doing the people's work here in Annapolis. So it's good to um, see all of you, including many of my former colleagues. So good evening, um, Council Chair Hawkins, um, Planning Board Chair Hewlett, um, and uh, other members of the council and the public. Thank you for the opportunity to testify on the Adelphi Road, UMGC, UMD, and Purple Line Station area sector plan. I will be brief. Um, I am opposed to the recommended upzoning of the Guilford Woods property. Um, that property is bordered on one side by State District 22, and of course on the university side by State District 21. Um, last fall, delegates Pena Melnick, Barnes, and myself wrote a joint letter in opposition to a proposal uh, that would have clear cut those woods to build graduate housing and market rate townhomes. Um, and we, in the in the letter, um, we wrote to President Pines about the property that the university dubbed Western Gateway, but that local residents call Guilford Woods. We pointed out that in the 2021 session of the Maryland General Assembly, um, many of you may have heard um, about a um, omnibus climate uh, change bill called the Climate Solutions Now Act. It's a comprehensive bill to try to attempt to start reversing global warming. Um, it did not pass. It was negotiated right up until Sine Die did not pass. The bill is back this year. But one critical piece of that legislation did pass, and it is called the Tree Solutions Now Act of 2021. That is uh, Maryland uh, law, chapter 645, requiring uh, the planting of 5 million trees statewide over the next decade to combat climate change. Now, 500,000 of those 5 million um, will be planted in urban areas, including um, parts of College Park. And that, of course, is an important first step to um, help uh, trees help sequester carbon and they help of course counter the heat island effects that are, have been well studied and well documented from concrete and other impervious surfaces. And what we said is, you know, developing this property of, of, of seven to nine acres of, of woods, a larger area than that, but, but that part of the property is wooded, would mean that um, basically, you're, you're going exactly opposite or against the, the idea, the goal of that Tree Solutions Now Act. Um, and it would, it would represent really a huge step backward. So m my request, and I do want to make clear that while that letter was jointly written by Delegates Barnes, Pena Melnick, and myself, and with a lot of, of organized opposition by students, and yes, by local community members, the university did put a pause on that project. What exactly that might mean going forward is not clear, but they heard and saw the opposition loud and clear, including, including in, in pretty extensive media coverage. Um, tonight, I am testifying of my own accord. I am not uh, speaking for delegates Barnes or Pena Melnick. I would like to see the district council um, zone this property open space. I think it is um, kind of ironic that the planning board presenter talked about the three tenets of this plan being walk, live, and sustain. I would submit to this body, to the bo both bodies, the planning board and the district council, that this plan is short on the uh, sustain piece, sus sustain or sustainability. Um, you could do much, much better. You are not preserving to the maximum extent that you could. Maybe in the planner's mind, the maximum extent, quote unquote, practicable, but not the maximum extent um, that you could to preserve natural resources. And again, I urge you to zone this property open space. Thank you.